Greetings, everyone. This is Mr. Mall, and this is a really quick podcast. Uh, just reviewing some of the features of OneNote that you're going to be expected to use to turn in assignments. So if there's any confusion, hopefully this video wraps up everything. Uh, so one of the first things you're going to need to do is you need to set up Windows so that it will open all OneNote uh, files from the desktop view. So to do this, you're going to press the Windows button and S, and we're going to search for uh, default programs. And when I find that, we're going to click on default programs, set your default programs. Uh, as it populates this list, we're going to be looking for OneNote Desktop. This is going to be uh, at the bottom. What we want to do is we want to make sure that OneNote Desktop is, there it is, OneNote Desktop is our default program. So I'm going to click on set as default program and OK. And it's done. So now, by default, Windows will always open any OneNote type files uh, from the desktop view. Once I've done this, we're going to go to our Haiku website. And uh, when I go to the website, I've posted at various uh, parts. You'll see this Honors Chemistry OneNote Dropbox. Uh, on our most current page, uh, we have it posted down uh, right along the side here, uh, Honors Chemistry OneNote Dropbox. And so wherever you find that, whether it be the welcome page or uh, just on the side here, we're going to click that. And that's going to open us open up for us in OneNote Online uh, this notebook that I've shared with you. So once I've done all this, we're going to make sure we sign in. Click at the top right. Uh, once we're signed in, you may have to enter your, your data. We're going to open this now in OneNote Desktop. So we're going to click on Edit Notebook, Edit in Microsoft OneNote, and we're going to press Allow or whatever it says there. And then you're going to have access to this chemistry uh, honors chemistry Dropbox. Now you hopefully have all seen this part here. So when I get up to the top, you're going to notice some new features here. Uh, fifth hour Dropbox, seventh hour Dropbox. These are where we have everybody's name involved and you can go in with your password, the last four digits, and you can add your uh, information in there. So I could add, uh, you know, if I go in here and I'll just add one here, Mr. Mall. And so what happens is I'll come to here, it'll tell me to put in the password, I'll put it in. And then once I have this here, I can go and get my old worksheets, you know, whatever they may be. I right click on them and press copy. And then we can go back over to our Dropbox and I can just right click paste. I can paste in uh, my document and then there's my worksheet. Uh, and so we're going to do this. Uh, for our lab, you're going to notice on the right hand side are the period 5 chem teams. And this is new. So this is our chem team. So if I go to period 5, I'm going to notice that all of the teams uh, that we have, that you worked with uh, for that lab are going to be there. And so you're going to go find your team. Um, yours may be password protected by the time you read this, so you're going to just uh, punch in your passwords. And then you're going to have access to uh, all of those, of those pages. And, your grade is going to be based upon your group turned in assignment and what I can do is I can track the changes and see uh, who put what in here and I'm going to be grading your group as a whole. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to go through all the groups. Group 7 has theirs here, period 7 chem teams and these have been password protected so you press your password in there uh, and you'll be able to just write on you're going to write directly on your team's uh, page. So I'm going to go ahead and blow this up and I'm going to sit down and figure out what my group put and I'm just going to write in on there uh, what you and your group members decided your contribution would be. So the goal is that everyone is going to be contributing to this group assignment and feel free to go back over if you notice something your group members put and you wanted to add on to it or uh, maybe add something to it. Don't erase their work, but go ahead and make some additions uh, to that so that when I get to it, I can see that you've worked together. Um, and you're going to be working together to make a final product. So there may be some changes that you notice. Or maybe you make a note to your partners on the side. Or, uh, better yet, you can actually use our discussion forum. So if you go back to our Haiku page, you'll notice uh, when I go to Chapter 10 and 11, gas law stuff on the right hand side is a discussion board uh, for your chem team. So when you click on this few group discussions uh, you're going to be given a chance to um, post something. Now your group is already going to be default so this at the top says 5-1 that means that your um, period 5 group number 1 
and here's uh, already some information that you should only be able to see your your own group members on here and they will be able to see there um, you can actually view another group if you click more at the top and then you can view some of these other groups here and find your own group it should by default go to yours but if you want to for whatever reason look at another group's discussion you, you totally could and then the last thing I want to, to let you know about is from the welcome page if you have any questions or anything I have made a new Honors Chem class forum where you can discuss uh, various questions that you have. Okay, well, uh, I hope that this was hope helpful to kind of see some of the things that maybe you've been struggling with. Uh, and with that being said, uh, enjoy your evening.